have a very special guest tonight, uh, Kiva, who's another DubSpot instructor. Kiva has been incredibly innovative. He's a lover of Dub, he's a student of it, and he's always finding new innovative ways to use the new technology to uh, not only bring back the old school flavor, but even take it a bit further. So we're gonna be hearing flangers, phasers, delays, filter sweeps, automation, everything that we've been learning in this course in level two that level two is devoted to, all cooked together in a Jamaican soup via Kiva. A few weeks ago, just all of a sudden I got this idea to um, not use the clip launch buttons to launch clips at all. And I'm using these for all of my different effect sends. So I actually have um, six different effect sends per channel that are all mapped to these buttons. And I just set the level of the return tracks so that I would get like the desired amount of effect on them. So I'm not even using these. Um, this way I can access every effect send for every channel at the same time plus they're in a line right now mm -hmm. so it totally makes sense like I don't have to be like uh one two three four be like oh there's so I'd always do that when I DJ with this I use them normally I'd be like oh there's six and have to count this is nice because it all makes sense it's all lined up the way that you would expect so you know so it worked out pretty good for this The way I have it, it's row here sends it to effect E for any channel, but I have this all running pre-fader. So I'll just run the drum track right now. Here's the drum track without anything. Now if I hit the send button to E, it feeds the filter free. But because it's pre-fader, it means I can pull the fader and just get that and then and then drop it back in, you know. It's never been easier now to, to get big studio sound at home. You know, that's one thing that's really amazing because you can have a laptop like this that has more studio power than all of Motown Records did in the golden years, for real. So if you know what you're doing and you have some creativity, um, there's nothing stopping you from making albums right now. So I think that's pretty exciting, you know, and it just continues to develop. The technology too, um, it opens the doorway in many ways for some people to make music that maybe wouldn't have thought to do it before but at the end of the day there's still like no um, like a talent button in there or like write a hit song for me button so it really still boils down to each individual 
and their creativity and how they want to use it. What kind of a story do you want to tell with your sounds? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>